Hello and welcome to Praxoid. Have you ever wondered if custom kernels can really increase performance and boost your phone? Well, today's video is all about that. We'll be comparing two of the popular kernels for Android devices, Quicksilver and Lightning kernel to showcase their performance and see if they can really enhance your phone's performance and battery. In this video, I'll be conducting various tests to showcase their performance such as Antutu Benchmark, Geekbench 5 and 6, 3D Mark Test, CPU Throttling and many more. I'll also be sharing my personal thoughts and experience with both the kernels as I have been using them extensively on my own devices. And by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of which kernel is best suited for your device. So let's get started. As you can see, I have installed Evolution X Custom ROM on both of my Redmi Note 8 devices and both phones are running on latest Android 13. On the first device, I am using the Quicksilver kernel which is the default kernel that comes with the ROM. It's designed to provide a stable and reliable experience with balanced performance. On the second device, I manually installed Lightning kernel which is known for its performance improvements and optimized for speed and responsiveness. Boot test So first of all, I'll do boot test and check which kernel gives better result and which one boots up faster. You can see the current temperature and battery percentage on the screen and I'll tap on restart button at the same time on both the devices. As both devices finished booting up and were surprised by the results, the phone with lightning kernel took 1 minutes and 13 seconds to boot up while the phone with the quicksilver kernel took only 41 seconds. In this particular boot test, the quicksilver kernel emerged as the winner. However, we have several more tests and comparisons to conduct before making a final determination on the performance of both kernels. And you can also see the change in temperature and battery percentage before and after conducting this boot test on the screen. Here also Quicksilver did not show any change in temperature and battery percentage whereas Lightning kernel showed 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature with no change in battery percentage. So now let's proceed with our testing and see how both kernels perform in other areas. Antutu benchmark score so after doing boot test comparison, I'll run some benchmark test and I'll start with Antutu benchmark. And you can see the current temperature and battery percentage on the screen. So I'll tap on test button at the same time and let's find out which one completes the test faster and we'll also compare their scores, temperature and change in battery percentage. <laughs> let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all. So after about 10 minutes, the test is completed and you can see the Antutu benchmark scores given by both kernels on the screen. And in terms of score, Lightning kernel has slightly higher score than Quicksilver kernel, although the score is somehow similar, but if we compare the numbers, Lightning kernel has better results in terms of score. And talking about time taken to complete the test, both kernel has shown almost similar results but this time lightning kernel took slightly less time to complete the Antutu test, clocking in at 10 minutes and 44 seconds. On the other hand, the quicksilver kernel took exactly 11 minutes to complete the same test. And you can view the changes in temperature before and after conducting the Antutu benchmark test displayed on the screen. By comparing these values, you can evaluate how efficient the devices are at handling resource intensive tasks and how well they can maintain performance without draining the battery excessively. Geekbench 5 after completing Antutu benchmark test, I'll do Geekbench 5 and 6 test and start with Geekbench 5 first. 
I'll tap on start at the same time in both the devices and you can also see the current battery temperature and battery percentage on your screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid so now the process is completed, and you can see their single core and multi-core scores on the screen Although there are some minor differences in the scores, the overall performance of the two is similar However, based on the scores, Lightning Kernel appears to have slightly better results than Quicksilver Kernel. And you can also observe the changes in temperature and battery percentage on the screen before and after the test. And here also, Lightning Kernel has shown better results in terms of both battery percentage and temperature management. And talking about time taken to complete the test, Lightning Kernel took 6 minutes and 48 seconds, whereas Quicksilver Kernel took 7 minutes and 7 seconds to complete Geekbench 5 test. The time taken is almost same, but in this test also, Lightning Kernel has won the battle. Geekbench 6 after Geekbench 5, I'll perform latest Geekbench 6 test and as you can see the current temperature and battery percentage on the screen. And I'll tap on run button at the same time on both devices and let's see which one gives better results. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn ain't that great I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there, till I feel like I'm winning, oh And this is just the beginning, I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting, and I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe You can do anything But what you gonna do for it? So the process is completed after about 15 minutes and talking about time taken to complete the test, Lightning Kernel is still ahead by small margin by taking time of 16 minutes and 39 seconds. Whereas Quicksilver Kernel took 16 minutes and 45 seconds to complete Geekbench 6 test. And upon analyzing their scores, we can observe that Lightning Kernel has slightly higher scores and it is interesting to note that the margin by which Lightning Kernel is ahead of Quicksilver is very small. And you can also see the change in battery temperature and percentage before and after doing the test on your screen. And this time Quicksilver has better battery management. 3D Mark Wildlife Test So after completing Antutu and Geekbench 5 and 6 test, I'll perform 3D Mark Wildlife Test. And you can see their current temperature and battery percentage on the screen. So now I'll run this test on both of the device at the same time and let's find out which one of them performs better. And almost after about one minute, the test is completed and this time Quicksilver Kernel is ahead just by two seconds in terms of time taken to complete the test. And overall wildlife score on both kernels are almost same but if we look at the numbers, Lightning Kernel is ahead by just two points. And you can view the change and difference in battery percentage and temperature on the screen. CPU throttling test. So after doing all the performance related tests, now I'll perform this CPU throttling test and I'll start with this test on both device at the same time. And you can see their current temperature and battery percentage on the screen. I'll run this test for exact 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn ain't that great I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid 
I need a change in my life Cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all oh, And this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? So now 15 minutes have passed away and you can see the final scores and results of CPU throttling test on the screen. In Lightning Kernel, the CPU has been throttled to 95% of its maximum performance, whereas Quicksilver Kernel, the CPU has been throttled to 90% of its maximum performance. Although both kernels have similar average scores, but when comparing them based on their values, Quicksilver kernel appears to have slightly better scores than Lightning kernel. And you can see the change and difference in temperature and battery percentage before and after the test on the screen. And this time, both of them have shown exact same results with temperature rise of 12 degrees Celsius and battery drain of 21%. RAM Management Test so after conducting all the extreme level tests and putting each phone kernel to their maximum limits, I'll perform last test for this video which is RAM management test. In this test, I'll open same application on both devices and check their multitasking as well as RAM management capability. I'll be opening 15 different apps on both phones and let's see which one has better RAM management. So now I have opened all these same 15 apps on both devices and I'll check all of them one by one. At first I'll check on phone dialer app on both phone and as you can see the phone with Quicksilver kernel was able to open the app easily while the phone with lightning kernel took longer to load the app and also reloaded the app. So in this similar way, I'll check all the applications and show you the final result of this RAM management test. So as you can see in this final result, Quicksilver kernel did not reload on any application and has shown the excellent result on this test. Whereas Lightning kernel has faced lots of ups and downs and reloaded 9 apps out of 15, which indicates that Quicksilver kernel has better RAM management capability compared to Lightning kernel. We tested two custom kernels and found that they performed similarly except for RAM management, where one was slightly better. We ran the test on Redmi Note 8 phone and found that the default kernel provided in custom ROM like Evolution X ROM was stable and reliable. Installing either custom kernel on your phone will likely improve performance compared to the stock kernel and these custom kernels will provide better results on your stock ROM. However, your opinion and results may vary based on your phone model. We hope this comparison helps you choose the best kernel for your device. Thank you for watching and feel free to give us suggestions on how we can improve our content. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to CrackSoil and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.